With the bid hanging by a thread, Olympic supporters made a show of it outside Calgary City Hall. They believe the benefit of hosting an Olympics outweighs the cost. I think if uh, Calgary ever needed the Olympics, it's uh, right now. It was the bid committee's challenge to convince skeptics on Calgary City Council. They brought a new funding plan to appeal to those determined to kill the very idea of the bid today. The public cost to host the 2026 Olympic Games has been trimmed from $3 billion to $2.875 billion. Both security and housing budgets have been scaled down. The federal government has committed half of the total, more than $1.4 billion. Calgary is a world-class city that uh, uh, it would be great to host the Olympics uh, in Canada, but obviously the uh, ultimate decision is up to Calgarians and Albertans themselves. Alberta's on board to the tune of 700 million. The latest tally of Calgary's necessary contribution is 390 million dollars. But some councillors remained unmoved, concerned about cost overruns and gaps still left in the planning. Ultimately, I think that this is a decision that Calgarians should be making. However, there's just not enough time. In the end, the motion to kill the bid fell short, failing to sway 10 of 15 councillors needed. So Calgarians are headed to a plebiscite on November 13th. Calgary's mayor says that's exactly what constituents told him they wanted. They said, don't condescend. Give us the deal, let us look at it, and let us vote. So ultimately, that was the driving force behind my vote today. Councillor Evan Woolley voted to kill the bid. Should Calgarians feel confident in this process? I think yeah. that's a great question. Indeed, there remains a great divide as well as a host of unanswered questions as people in this city get ready to weigh the question of an Olympic bid. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary. And this issue hasn't just left council divided. A poll this summer showed about half of Calgarians were in support of the bid. So what about the costs and benefits of hosting the Games? The Winter Olympics were here in Vancouver eight years ago, and as Briar Stewart found out, the debate continues over the bottom line. The sprawling Richmond Oval is part of Vancouver's Olympic legacy. The $178 million complex hosted the speed skating events. Today, the everyday athlete works out here along with those training for higher competition. The idea of the Olympics is one thing, but to train under the Olympic rings as a visual on a daily basis is something really special. The overall cost of the 2010 Games varies depending on who you ask and what they include. One tally is as high as 7.7 .7 billion, but that includes large construction projects like the SkyTrain line that was built and upgrades on the highway to Whistler. We are so excited to be here. The former CEO of Vancouver's Olympic Committee says the true cost was much less and well worth it. There was a pretty good vision there and that, uh, that if, for, not just for the Olympics but for all of the things that the region want to achieve uh, post-Olympic Games and so I think we are a very good example of how to do it right. There are other examples where things haven't gone well, where Olympic costs ballooned and afterward facilities languished. The Olympics are very expensive and they have very large cost overruns. And that's one of the reasons that many cities are having second thoughts on hosting the Olympics. Take the 2024 Summer Olympics. Five cities were in the mix when the bidding began, but three ended up dropping out. In the end, it was awarded to Paris. Well, people have a choice. They can make that choice. Chris Shaw was against hosting the Olympics in Vancouver. Eight years on, he still doesn't think it was a good investment and has a warning for Calgarians. You're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it one way or another. Yes, maybe you get to share on your team, but you can do that on TV too. Besides, he says, if a city wants world-class recreational facilities, they can go ahead and build them without spending all the billions of dollars extra on the games. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Richmond.